Steve Bullock tried, but never found a solid base of support for his argument that a Democrat successful in a Trump state is the best Democrat to defeat President Trump. If we can't win back these places we lost, we're not going to win. Also bowing out of the 2020 race is retired Admiral Joe Sestak, who walked 100 miles across New Hampshire from Hinsdale to Portsmouth. Sestak was willing and able to invest quite a bit of one-on-one -on -one time with individual voters, particularly those who disagree with him, because he believes the stakes in this election are so high. We don't have a leadership by America where people respect us and come together for the collective good. We're not going to make it. We'll have to wait and see if those dire warnings for the country pan out. But in the near term, it's the rest of the lower tier candidates in the Democratic field that have to worry about the future. This month could become a 2020 primary graveyard. The closer we get to the primary, we're going to start to see more and more of the 16 candidates that are left drop out of this race. Neil Levesque at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics says the departures of Bullock and Sestak also underscore the rapidly diminishing importance of established governing experience as a means of gaining traction in the race for the White House. Well, at this point in time, we have three former Western governors and a three-star admiral, all who have just dropped out of the race. And so resume at this point really doesn't seem to be something that voters are, are calculating as they're choosing their candidate. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.